We've got the base of the lamp, the E63 lamp as seen in Blade Runner 2049. Uh, we have the base finished. What we have to do is weld it together. So we're gonna do more friction welding. Uh, then we've got to uh, design and print out the hardware that's actually gonna connect the shade to the lamp base. And then we got to do the electronics that are going to go into this very large area in the back here. You see how much space is back there. You could put all kinds of electronics back there, all kinds of sensors. To paint it, we're going to be using uh, gray acrylic paint, and I'm going to give this a try. I usually use paint brushes, but never on something. I've never had to paint something this big. So we're going to try to use this uh, little mini foam roller and see how that turns out. Okay, so we, we tacked welded it here and here. I mean, it's just like a little, a little spot of welding here and on the other side uh, just to get it in place. And then we can finish the welds all the way around. So I, I did a spot weld here and on the other side, and then I'm going along here. Uh, that's to just get it into place before doing the whole seam. And now I'm going to finish the welding process on the outside and the inside. Let's watch. So that's actually pretty hard to get in here with the friction welding. You gotta try it at some different angles, but we managed to do it. We're gonna clean that up. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna do the hardware for the lampshade. That's gotta go up here. This is the lampshade. It'll look something like that. Now if you look here, you can see that there's these holes and this is what the hardware needs to interface with to hold the lampshade to the lamp base. Now, we've got to design this and print this out in 3D. It probably would be ideal if it was done in metal, but I, I don't think that that's in the cards anytime soon here. Uh, so this is what we've got in SketchUp. And really it's just cylinders with uh, a hex nut and space for a bolt. And you're going to see how I use friction welding to secure the nuts in place and use the bolts to kind of make custom hardware. This is what the hardware looks like, how it's gonna be printed out. Uh, here's what it's going to look like on the actual lamp. So you can see this uh, eye shape structure here is going to connect to the base and the shade. And then it's going to be tightened by these outer knobs here. Uh, so in here will be a nut and out here will be a nut. You'll, you'll see why that has to be. And then a bolt is just going to go straight through here and it's going to do it on all of these sides. When you're done printing, you're going to have these four knobs and you're going to have this eye shaped structure. And we're going to put nuts inside of here like this. We're going to friction weld that in there so it's secured permanently. And we're also going to put one in here, but then also a bolt so that when you turn this, the, this whole thing will turn. This will all be friction welded shut, it'll be sealed. And what you'll essentially have is a bolt with this as a turning knob. So let's go ahead and do that. What I like to do is with the, with the bolt, make sure it's seated all the way in there, as far down as it goes. Make sure it stays even and then weld around it. Don't weld over it over the hole, just weld over the this part, this metal part here. So when you're all done, it should look something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for all of the nuts, for the structure and for the knobs. Okay, so you put the nut in there and then you twist it down. And then when you turn this, it's going to turn the entire bolt. You gotta make sure that you friction weld this in place. 
I mean, if you ever feel like you want to get that bolt out, I mean, you can, you can pull this whole thing apart. That's not going to be impossible. You could eventually recover this. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to try to make this as permanent as possible. We're going to weld that in there, and then we're going to be able to interface that with this. So as you can see, it's done. It's assembled. It's plugged in. It's lit up. Uh, there's some issues with the design, of course, when you first build anything uh, for the first time, you're going to notice all kinds of issues. I don't even know why I thought the articulating uh, parts of the lamp would work in 3D printing. Obviously, they're not going to work as is. We're going to try to sort that out and find some way to make it because it, it really would be cool if you could articulate it like you probably can the original lamp. I don't know, I've never seen a, an original E63 in real life. Uh, but right now it's welded. So I, I welded everything and it's there just for looks, these knobs and this. And it's a little wobbly, but then so is this lamp. So I, I don't know what to make of it. We're looking at the back of the lamp. This is the base and then this is the shade up here. Let's take a look at the shade right there and you can see that I added in this bolt right here and this bracket and this is pushing on a ledge inside there I don't know if you can see it right right beyond the bracket you can see how the bolt kind of rests on this ledge and by adjusting this we can raise and lower the shade here and by adjusting this one down here you gotta kind of reach underneath here uh, you can raise and lower it here. It's a little bit tedious, but it's very solid. It works really well, and you have a very wide range of motion for this lamp. Now, these knobs to adjust the lamp are not in the original E63 lamp design, but because we're making this out of plastic, we're 3D printing it, uh, the properties of plastic versus metal, which the original lamp was made out of, they're totally different. And so the type of hardware that you would use on the actual lamp are, are not appropriate to a plastic lamp. That's why we have this knob system. Now the, the brackets and the knobs and the bolts are all kind of tucked away. They're in the back of the base and they're inside the shade. So it's really hard to see them. Uh, we're kind of cheating a little bit, I guess you could say. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make several versions of this lamp. You can also see here there's a, a spot for a rocker switch, which is not the original switch on the E63. So we'll make a couple of different versions so people can pick and choose what they want. I'll have one that is very practical and adjustable with the brackets and knobs that we developed. I'll also have the actual original design. So if you want to kind of weld everything into place in one single adjusted pose and have it look exactly like an E63 lamp minus the ability to adjust it, you can do that. Or if you want the adjustable version, you can get that as well. Now, there's another problem that I just realized uh, we had. I was double checking the dimensions of the original design. I did a little bit more research on the original lamp that we're basing this off of. And it would seem like something obvious that I, I should have checked beforehand, but it's totally the wrong dimension. It is, and I thought about this. It looks way bigger than in all of the pictures I was looking at. And I, I thought I checked the dimensions and, and was correct, but I mixed depth with width. And so this ends up being much, much larger than an actual E63. It's a cool lamp, it works, it's really nice. I, I've actually been using it here in this corner uh, for the last two days, but it's the wrong size, so I definitely have to do it again. And the model that we release will be the actual size of the lamp. So let that be a lesson to you when you're designing Put the time and effort into research. Make sure you get everything right because if you mess something up like basic dimensions and everything else after that is going to be wrong, you're gonna to have to backtrack. But we learned a lot building this lamp about uh, applying paint to large surfaces of, of 3D printed models uh, using this uh, foam roller and some other tools that came with this extremely cheap dollar uh, painting set. We also learned about 
making this lamp adjustable using this uh, knob and bolt system. So it wasn't a waste of time. I'm actually quite happy with this, but I think I'm going to print out a proper sized lamp. If you like what we're doing here at the Applied Technology Lab, uh, where we are designing open source projects, we're showing people how to make them, how to modify them, how to improve them, and we're releasing all of this information to the public for free for everyone. If you like that and you wanna support what we're doing, uh, check the video description below. There is a link to our Patreon uh, page. There's also ways to do one-time donations. And also if you're just helping share our work with other people or giving us some technical input, that is very helpful also. We really appreciate all of that help. So thank you very much. And until next time, remember, knowledge is power, but only if you apply it. <laughs>